Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. The last video was a long one. But we went to... Uh, let's see. Oh. We're not on a planet, so we don't have anything to look at. Oh, here we go. We haven't left too much yet. We're still... We, we're going to go back here. But anyway, we went out to... Botanical Garden... Then we went over to here, we switched the power off, we switched the power to here, we got rid of Reed Thompson, so life is good. But there's a lot of stuff to do here yet. We're going to go back and we're going to do some of it. Um, right now, we, let's see what's in here. This is where Parvati's at. I think we can keep her here now. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Did you hear from your... Tr did you hear... You learned your trade from your father, it sounded like it. What do you think of the ship? I think it's time you move along, Parma, already. That's in pretty good shape, considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space, but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? <laughs> Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. <laughs> like this. That's the ship's computer. Not intelligent, but it does a good intimidation. So you're gonna call her it, not she? Though my voice is currently pitched to suggest female, I possess no gender. Any pronoun preferred by the user is acceptable. Hello, I am not a board certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? <laughs> Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it. I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. <laughs> the owner's manual. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. Nice. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. <laughs> uh, I think it's time for you to move along, Parvati. You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. No. Oh, that's a relief. I don't want her to leave the Thanks, ship. Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean... Okay, but... I guess she's still here. I, I, we'll figure it out. We're gonna, get, we're gonna find a way to get rid of her. Let's see, let's go upstairs. See if she's moved into her space. We've got this thing here. This is a side quest right there. Sam. Uh, that might be Parvati's space. Each follower gets their own space on your ship. So that, there's quite a few spaces here. Because you, you can get quite... I think you can keep three. You can have three followers with you at a time, I believe. What's that? First wrench Dad ever gave me. She's been a friend of mine ever since. Oh, cool. So, yeah, this is all her stuff, even though the floorboard's kind of messed up. All right, let's go up to uh, the captain's cabin. Where is that at? That's back this way. Over here. There's stuff in there that we want. Here we go. Here's my thing. So we now have that, the holographic shroud. Which comes in handy on occasion, but it doesn't last a whole long time. And then we go here. Let's read this. Ah, uh, Hawthorne. <clears throat> uh, forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me. I made you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate. Okay. Turn to root. Logs. 
Um, note to self, a shrink ray. Remember this? Remember this later. No better. Ada reminded me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continuously. No, Ada. Not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask that? Back to my point. I saw in actuality with my own two eyes a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells lab just sitting there for the taking. If the gray hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe. Or if I asked a smidgen more nicely, he called it a shrink ray but wouldn't tell me. Would let me test the claim after I lost my temper. He said he was impaired. He was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared push the boundaries. I heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science is cutting edge, but I figured they were just stories. To be honest, laying eyes on Wells shrink where a first hand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there's more to the rumors, more to be had. Okay. Black market leads. Man, won't Wells just give the shrink way to me? Blast him. Uh, I did apologize for shouting him down five times, but the architect be damned. It's just sitting there, neglected. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or a breaking expensive equipment. What does that even mean, I asked. Da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, this is hammer power. What is this? Last time I got sloshed. You know, it was a bobby that lost the last hope on the groundbreaker. Well, Kudum was really free with the drinks. He seems like a crazy old fellow. An okay old fellow. I seem to be so eavesdropped on two Mardets yammering on about a man scientist some years back who claimed to be, he claimed he made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Like none of us have heard that before, but here's the good part. The Mardot said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer power or something similar. A strange weapon with a special power created by a cozy la crazy lab coat. Sure fits the bill. It could be another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. Hmm. That's it. Mm, weapons from the void. And the groundbreaker. Okay. And we have a storage thing here, which is handy. We have a bed here. Just and to warn you, we may this? have a bed bug infestation. I am investigating non toxic extermination measures. Non toxic to you, I mean. Okay. All right, so we got the, what was that weapon that I just picked up? I'm just gonna get rid of that, I don't need this. Let's just break it down. Okay, uh, so far we don't have a lot of stuff. Now, where is the, I don't know how you use the uh, holographic thing. Where's that at? Oh, there it is. Holographic Shroud. I don't know how you use it. I can't remember. I guess we'll figure it out somewhere along the line. There's nothing here that says to equip. Okay. The Logic Module. we got to give that to what's-his-name, the guy at the... Codex. Abigail, the first wrench. Okay, da, 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 da. anything else? Let's see. Stealth. Holographic shroud. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Give you access to research provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Okay, so you need that. But it doesn't last long. I forget how long it lasts. Alright, so we have one perk point. We have, actually, I think we have two perk points because I have a... F uh, since I only got one available. I should have two. I'm at, oh, I did... No, wait a minute. I should have one because of my flaw. Well, you know what? I lost my flaw. 
I don't have a flaw. Yeah, I didn't get the flaw when I redid the whole thing. Okay, so that's all right. So the flaw went away when I redid that run. I had to redo that run to get back to where we were. Talking to the uh, deserters. This guy here is Sam. We can set him loose later. And let's see. There's nothing else going on in here right now. And this is the bathroom, right? That's the bathroom. Okay. So let's go back to Edgewater. How do I get there? I gotta go this way. Yeah, so I guess flaws are kind of random. That's just it just happens, I guess. Alright, let's go here. So we can go to we can go to any of these planets except Eridanos. I think that's a DLC. You need to uh, level up to go there. This one, Olympus. So some of these are locked out. So let's go back to Terra 2. I think that's where we want to go. Yeah, Edgewater. Let's go there. Now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Alright, so now if I leave... Turn in one piece, Captain. Okay, so we don't want to take Parvati. Select up to two companions. Okay, only two, huh? We're not going to select one. Let's just go without her this time. That'll make it much easier. If she's not around, it'll make it much easier to take care of the Marauders. Ah, well, I don't know how much easier, but this guy's body's still laying here. Do I have anything to sell? Let's sell it if I do. I got rid of some stuff. Holy crap, I got a whole bunch of, of bits again, eh? No weapons, though. Hack plus seven must be a very common. Uh, weapons. I do, I, I need a, uh, I forgot. Whisper quiet. We need this. Let's grab this. How much is that? A thousand bucks. We're going to take that. And I don't know what this is. A super scoper. Super, super scoper. Two thousand. Okay, that's a nice thing, but uh, I'm not leveled up enough to get that. Okay, so we have a muzzle. Wait a minute. Why is she here? That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together. you got to go back to the ship. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of her. She's supposed to stay on the ship. I didn't. I didn't grab her. Yeah, I wanted her to stay on the ship, but I didn't see a good dialogue for that. She, she, she's sitting over here. Something busted, Captain? Did you learn a trade? It's the break time's over. So when I go to leave, it asks you to choose if I don't choose her. Do return in one piece, Captain. Oh, maybe if I just... There we go. Okay, she's gone now. Now we can go. There we go. Okay. Gotta turn off her little light. Right? Okay, we are free, finally. Alright, what was I looking for? Any more, <clears throat> any more mods? There's another muzzle. Well, we don't need two of them. Is this one coat of arms? Can I purchase this restricted stock? What does this do? Companion ability. Don't care about that. 
Mag to Ray. And Ray. I found N rays to be a little weird. Same stuff here. What's this one? A oh, Mr. Zap. Melee weapons. So there's a ton of whis whisper quiet muzzlers now. I don't really want to buy another one. I'm trying to think if I need one. In oh, I cannot put it on my sniper rifle anyway because it doesn't have a muzzle slot. It doesn't have a slot for it. That's the sucky thing about it. Right? No, it does not. That's the assault rifle. Where's my sniper rifle? Yeah, this does not have a slot for it. Neither does this, so nothing I have has a slot for it, so I gotta get another weapon. Alright, so we can't do nothing with that. Let's go give this guy his thing. Die, robot. This will give us some more XP. Dude, come here. Talk to me. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. You mentioned the logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. <laughs> You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but... I'm guessing you want something tactile. Yes, I do. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. A shock stick and a bit cartridge. 500 bits. Alright, thanks, dude. A shock stick. Ooh, we got it. That's a legendary one, too. Nice. So that means I don't need the other one. I don't need this anymore. Uh, should we scrap it? Yeah, let's scrap it. Alright, so this is a legendary one. That's pretty nice. I didn't remember getting that before. Alright, so we'll hang on to that for a little while. Um, so I have to... Uh, have to do some more skills and a perk. I have one perk point and some more skill points to distribute. Let's go back to guns. Um, 40 minimum armor pen penetration damage. That means 60. What's down here? Uh, we need to get our dialogue up a little bit, probably, because that's pretty low right now. Tech is still pretty low, but we're. Um, Science. Tinkering cost. Yeah, this is what we want to get to. We need to get this to... Oh, that's got to get to 60. All right, now we got to get this to 40. So let's up this a little bit here so we can get that to 40. What's engineering at 40? What does that do? Break down weapons and armor for a 20% chance to extract a basic mod. All right, let's add some more points to this. Um, and I'm going to add some... So that's something to dialogue too, because I really want to do get some dialogue going again. And 20. We can get lie at 20. Scramble. 50% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. Under lie? That's very weird. Hmm. Okay. And we got one more point left. Are we stick in handguns? I don't really care about heavy weapons. I don't care about melee weapons. Um, this is pretty good right now. Yeah, I might as well stick it here. That'll give me 39 here. Can I take one out of this one? I just took all five out here. So let's get this one down to, to get tech one more, get 40 down here to engineering. And now, now we'll go back to dialogue, put the rest in dialogue. Okay, here we go. Alright, 
Now perks. Alright, a one perk point. Let's see what we can do this time. Deadly demonstrations. Companions. I don't need any companion perks. You become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born a cargo hauler. Fast travel when encumbered. Your technical time now allows me to recharge as much faster. That could be handy. Right now I don't really care about I see vendors and vending machines have additional ammo, consumables, and general items available. This effect will happen the next time a vendor or vending machine restocks. Yeah, I know. Um, base armor rating. Increased damage based on the number of flaws you have. Okay. Increase the magazines of science weapons. I don't have a lot of science weapons. After some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench's sight alignment tool is much more accurate. Companion critical chance. That doesn't help me. 25% weapon and iron armor durability loss. Less loss. Oh, look, we need to do some damage. Your adrenal time use have left a personal app in your step walk speed let's go back to here this charges faster and some base 50% more base health I'm gonna go with the time dilation thing let's do this one um, Okay, so, all right, so now, let's see. Passage to anywhere, speak to glass on the groundbreaker. Okay, we're not gonna do that one. What I wanna do is, the frightened engineer, find the three volumes. There's one more in here, I believe. There's a volume in here. We can give it to that guy if he's in here. We can even go talk to Adelaide. She might be here right now. I don't know. And then we're going to go take care of some marauders. Who are these guys? These guys look like marauders. All right, where's the... Why does it say go back this way? This is weird. This game does this all the time. Where do I have to go to get the other one? Over here? I thought it's in here. I thought it was in... He knows at least one volume of the set is at the... Oh, the community center. That's right. It used to be in the town of Edgewater. And then another used to be in the town of Edgewater. He also promised to reward you for any volumes. Okay, so we've got... You found the second volume. You found the third volume. Okay, so we did find a one in here already. So the other one is over there. Cute kindred spirits. What is this? Find Zoe. We know where Zoe. I know where she's at. Fistful of digits. Collect Doc May. Okay. Those are the, and then the long tomorrow. Retrieve the cache of medicine. Retrieve the journal for. Where is this at? That's over here. So these two things are like right here. This is the community center, and this is the other thing. So we got to go. We got to go clear these guys out over here. We can fast travel to the community center, but that would be bad. We can fast travel to geothermal plant. That might be best. So let's um. Let's see if we just let's just. Uh, See if Reed Tomlinson is gone. Where's the? Oh, right here. Let's see if uh, Adelaide's here.
there she is. Time changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Now that Reed's gone, what do you plan to do? Start anew. Edgewater will become the town it was meant to be. A place where we live in harmony with the world. Where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. <laughs> a place where all are welcome. Except for Reed's supporters, of course. Ah, I was wondering about your garden. The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery with crops enough to feed a town. You're still gonna need corpses in your fertilizer. But of course. And now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. Except they're all dead and gross. Are you concerned about the plague? Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. All right, well, see ya. Okay, so. All right, so she's happy. I was, I was thinking there's a, there's a couple more places in here. Of course, I could be thinking about another town. There's like so many towns. Is this marked as steel? Yeah, we don't steal off in there. All right, let's go walking around town here just real quick. We got the cannery. And that's the cantina. That's the cannery there. This is the sheriff's office. What is this? I don't know. Thomas Kemp. Oh, that's the guy. Okay, he's working on shit. The workbench here. Okay, so this is where he's at. And I've been here. I've already raped this place. Okay, move on. So there really isn't that much in this town. That's the constable over there. Wish we had some better rations. Anything happening over here? Nothing over here? Yeah, it's a different town I'm thinking of. We'll be in another town sh soon enough. Game of saving again, huh? Okay. So... We need to go do this, too. Where is this one at? We need to go get these drugs. Is that close by somewhere? Fistful of digits? Nope. Retrieve the cash. Where's that at? Is that here? Along tomorrow. So, that's in the same place. So everything we got to do is over there somewhere. Okay, so we're going to head that way. I'm going to put the illustrated manual on. So that we, that's, what we're, that's what we're looking for. No, no, not the illustrated manual. The... Frightened engineer, that's what we want. Because that's over here also. Which, um, that... I thought I got that already. Well, I guess I'm wrong about that. I thought I got that from there. I got something else from over there already. I don't know what it was. I can't remember. Alright, so we were going to fast travel to here. And then work this area right here. Zoe's over here. Lots of lots of marauders there. There's just a lot. It's a, like it's like a little town of marauders. So it, there, it takes a while to clear. That might be two videos just to clear those guys out. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start a new video. I think. I'll take care of her. See if there's anything down here. No. No. I just want to make sure I've scoured this hole. There's a salt tuna cannery. We've been in this little area over here, which is like a some kind of a little weird. Okay, that's next to the cannery. And we're good. And then there's the church. 
Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall. In the general store. Okay. Yeah, we've been there too. All right. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching. And we're going to get into some more crazy activity in the next video. See ya.